said, my name is Andrew Lukey. I am a writer, uh, former style editor of Esquire.com, uh, a trend forecaster who's worked with global brands like Prada, Ralph Lauren, Nike, Reebok, and Subaru. I'm also a recently published author. Uh, my book Cool, Style, Sound, and Subversion just came out from Rizzoli in May 2017. It's a history of youth subcultures told through the lenses of fashion and music. And as she said, I'm also a CA alum, class of 98. Uh, I guess it's appropriate to be back here as the upper school is uh, celebrating Throwback Thursday. Since uh, <laughs> I'm definitely a throwback. Um, but I'm not here to talk about any of those things today, uh, or at least not talk about the end results. I'm here to talk about something that's affected me in the process of accomplishing all of those things. And that thing is anxiety. Throughout most of my life, I've been a pretty anxious person. I've been anxious about things big and small, mostly small. Uh, you know, perhaps some of you can relate. Um, but in accomplishing all those things and dealing with anxiety at the same time, I've learned a few simple lessons. First, I'm going to let you know some of the things I've been afraid of in life. I've been afraid of the simplest things, like giving this talk, uh, <laughs> not getting into college. Once I got into college, I was scared to go. Uh, I've been afraid of things like first dates, um, second dates too, <laughs> <laughs> checking my email. Um, I know technology has exacerbated anxiety for young people and old people alike, and yes, I stand here before you as a 38-year-old man who, every time he goes to his inbox, is a little bit scared, or a lot scared sometimes. Uh, and I was also scared to write my book. Um, I was afraid I might not be able to do it. I was afraid I might not even be able to finish it. I was afraid it might not be any good. I was afraid it, I would think it was good, but other people thought it wouldn't be good. All sorts of fears going into the book. But, again, as I've been afraid of all of these things and tried to fight through them, I've learned you can't give in to your fear and anxiety. It's going to be there. For some of us, it might be constant. For some of us, it might be incidental, but everybody experiences it once or twice in life. Um, in not giving into your fear, there are a few important steps uh, you have to take, I think. Number one, ask for help. Uh, I think this is the most important step, um, especially when we're talking about mental health or anxiety or depression or, you know, God forbid, wanting to hurt yourself. Definitely need to ask for help. Everybody in, help, uh, everybody in life needs help sometimes. Um, you'll probably be afraid to ask for help. I certainly have been, but you just have to do it. You know, ask. Uh, a parent, a teacher, a school counselor, another mental health professional. If you don't feel comfortable asking one of them, ask a friend, a friend's parents, uh, your aunt. Uh, you can even ask me. I'm on Twitter, so you know where to find me. Uh, number two, it's important to remember that it's okay to feel these feelings. Everybody feels anxiety and sadness at some point in their life. You can't deny them. You have to accept them and feel them. Uh, if you try and block them out, it's only going to be worse. Um, hopefully you can work through them, but the thing to remember is that you can't give in to them. You can't give in to that fear or anxiety. You have to keep going, even as you feel them. Number three, say yes. Throughout life, there are going to be many opportunities that present themselves uh, or that you seek out that you may be afraid to take on. Again, you might be afraid to fail. You might just be afraid of how much work it's going to take. You might be afraid that it'll take you away from friends and family. All sorts of things to be anxious about and taking on opportunities. But despite these fears, if you know in your heart that it's something that's good for you or something you've always wanted to do, you have to just say yes. Don't worry about the results. Don't worry about the anxiety. Just say yes and work on it. And number four, after saying yes and in life in general, you have to just keep going. Finish what you've started, even if anxiety is there, even if you're afraid to fail, just keep going. Sometimes in life, at the lowest points, that might mean just putting one foot in front of the other. It might just mean getting out of bed in the morning. Um, you know, but sometimes it'll mean really excelling and doing your best. The important thing is to not give in to the fear and just keep going despite the fact that it's there. And that is how you can live, uh, learn to uh, Fight through your fears and never give up. Thank you.